our Fix My School segment, we put the word out and boy, did our viewers deliver. We partnered with Leo's Coney Island to collect school supplies for Detroit students. Tonight, we're happy to report it was a huge success. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell joins us now live with an update and some impressive pictures. Kim. Oh my gosh, I can't even show you all of the supplies we collected. I want you to take a look. We have 175 pallets of school supplies all donated at numerous Leo's Coney Islands around Metro Detroit in the Fix My School Detroit School Supplies Drive. Thank you so much to everyone who donated. And it is Friday night, a time when many people are kicking back, getting ready to enjoy the weekend. And we have here at a warehouse donated by the city of Detroit, a bunch of teachers who have spent the whole week teaching and instead of going home and relaxing, are organizing all of these supplies so they can be distributed next week. And I've been talking to them. And thank you so much for the work that you do for the kids and for the work you're doing tonight. What message do you think all of these donations send to everyone in our community? I think it sends a message that the broader community supports classroom teachers and the work we do and the children of the city of Detroit, even though the Michigan legislature is not willing to act to fix Detroit Public Schools for us. And we all know that they're looking at legislation right now that we hope will help give the district a solid future. And I've been talking to all of you, and so often you're buying this stuff with your own money, and this is a great help. Talk to me about that. The unfortunate thing is with all the pay cuts that we've taken recently and the health care increases, things that we would typically buy for our students, we really, we just can't, even though it's what we need to have our children be successful. Um, the cuts that we've taken have prevented us. So watching, unfolding this stuff has just been a remarkable experience to know how much the community cares about our children and is helping us to do the things that we're not able to do right now. And talk to me about the emotions that you're feeling as you go through all of these donations. You know, it's very overwhelming because, you know, you take a look and honestly, you didn't think that people were going to kind of step up. I mean, the fact that a local business decided to do something on their own and it involves, you know, community members outside the city of Detroit. Th there's no other word except to be grateful and to know that our students and our teachers are really going to appreciate the things that they've gotten. I mean, it's been a lot of fun just opening boxes and, and saying, oh, look, and look, and just seeing the kinds of things that people have been willing to give to support the Detroit Public Schools. It's like Christmas. This is awesome. Talk to me about what you want to say to the people who stepped up and donated. Well, as a classroom teacher, I just want to say thank you because it just reinforces the hard work that we do each and every day. It makes us feel appreciate, appreciated, and it inspires us to do even more with our students that we work with every day in the classroom. Well, thank you guys so much for the work you do. And I also want to tell you, I told you, guess how many tons of school supplies we collected. And we have the number. We collected 20 tons of school supplies. That is 40,000 pounds of school supplies that are going to go to kids in Detroit Public Schools. And I also want to give a shout out to the city because they donated this warehouse to house all of these supplies so that they can be safe and then distributed next week. And there are a few people who have been working really hard. Brad Dick, Mark Kinnan, I'm sorry, Kimakinen, and Marty Gwen. Thank you so much to the mayor and to everyone in the city who helped make this possible. Thank you guys for working to get these organized, and thank you for donating. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. You know, it tugs at your heart when you hear they have to be offered extra credit right. to get the essentials and the very basics that other districts have. So, Kim, an outpouring there, they certainly need it and deserve it. Thank you for your effort as well.